Hey everybody, it's Mitch and welcome to my next video. Today we have got another Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 prestige class description. And today's prestige class comes from the Complete Warrior. And we are going to be talking about the Bear Warrior. Now, the Bear Warrior is an interesting prestige class. So, as always, we're going to talk about um, what the Bear Warrior is. We're going to talk about how you go about getting into it. Then we're going to talk about uh, what the Bear Warrior actually gets. And then we're going to talk about how good they are, what kind of builds uh, you could make with them. So yeah, uh, let's jump right into it. So what is the Bear Warrior? Well, it's uh, a warrior, um, per uh, typically a barbarian, who uh, really reveres the bear for its strength and power and... Uh, you know, it's kind of worships the bear, and as such, he's learned to uh, use his the, the spiritual power of his rage to harness the power of the bear to the point where he literally transforms into a bear and gains the strength of a bear. So that's the bear warrior for you. Um, it's kind of an interesting concept. Um, so yeah, um, that's what they are. Uh, so let's talk about um, how you go about getting into uh, this prestige class. And it's actually pretty simple. Uh, the uh, prereqs are not difficult. Uh, so base attack bonus 7, that's going to be your hardest one. That basically just means you're not going to be able to jump into it too quick. You're going to have to wait till at least 8th level and probably exactly 8th level, uh, in all honesty, unless you do some other prestige classing first. But yeah, you're going to uh, need some other levels. Um, this one is, does take a little longer. Um, it does also require the power attack feat. But let's be real. If you're going to be doing, um, you know, a barbarian type build, this is something you're really going to want. Um, it's not super great with this class on its own. Um, but it, which is weird, power attack's normally really good for barbarian uh, builds. And it can be for this one. But you're going to need some help from uh, probably teammates. Um, yeah, I will get into that later. Um, and you need the Rage of Frenzy ability. Um, yeah, that should, you need, it's kind of required for unlocking uh, the power of this prestige class anyways. And that's it. That's, that's all the requirements. Um, pretty much stuff you'd want anyway. So the entry requirements are pretty much free. Uh, for if you actually want this. You don't really have to go out of your way at all uh, to get this. You just got to wait a little bit. Be a little bit patient because um, the Bear Warrior is something that, you know, uh, isn't for the faint of heart. You got to be at least a little bit strong. It requires a few levels. Um, so uh, let's talk about what the Bear Warrior gets. Because, I mean, we already talked about all everything else. Um, so the Bear Warrior, it gets uh, D12 hit dice which is great, um, best in the game. Um, has four plus int for uh, skills, not too bad. Uh, decent enough skill list, uh, could be better, but it's pretty appropriate for, you know, someone who spends a lot of time out in the wild. It's, you know, pretty bad for civilized uh, culture. Um, they don't get any of those skills, but they got a lot of the skills that are required for uh, roughing it out in the wild. So not bad. Um, now they get a good base attack bonus, which you know obviously they're, you know <laughs> they're uh, barbarian prestige, so of course, um, good fortitude again, uh, bad reflex and will, which this all makes uh, a lot of sense. It's pretty it makes a lot of sense for a barbarian prestige class, um, and then they get a couple of extra things. They get bear form, which basically what that means is whenever they enter rage or frenzy they can choose to go into bear form uh, instead of gaining the normal benefits um, of Rage or Frenzy. Now, a few of the things they still keep, like um, the armor class penalty and the bonus to will save, they still get to keep that. But everything else that you get from Rage uh, is replaced by uh, what you get for bear form. And there are three different bear forms that you can choose. At first level, you just have... Uh, and generally, you're going to want the best one because um, basically the, the one that you get at first level is the worst. The one you get at fifth is the next worst. And 
the one you get at 10th level is the best. And you're pretty much always going to want the, the best one. Now, you, you can change it up if you want, but why? Um, anyways, uh, you get the, uh, uh, the black. Uh, originally, you get the black bear form, which that one is definitely the worst. That one gives you a plus 8 to strength um, and a plus 2 to dex and a plus 4 to con, which isn't terrible. Um, could be worse. Um, then at fifth level, you can do the, uh, uh, what is it? The black, uh, the black bear. Yeah, you can do, um, the brown bear form. The book is so weirdly written. Um, but you get the brown bear form at fifth level. And this one is much, much better. Um, so this one gets you a plus 16 to strength, a plus two to dex and a plus eight to con. So double your bonuses to strength in decks that you were getting before, which is insane. Um, for a five level dip, this is amazing. You're definitely going to want to take the five levels uh, for sure. Um, now, whether you go for the 10, so uh, that one's less good. It's definitely better as an improvement because at 10, you get the uh, dire bear and that one gets you a plus 20 to strength, plus two to decks and plus eight to con. So the decks uh, has remained the same throughout. Um, the con did not increase there and, uh, strength only went up by four, which I know I say only, but you know, that's considering it went up by eight the last time. Now it's only going up by half as much, um, for five levels. It's not nearly as much of a return as you got for those first five levels. Um, but it's still really good. Um, and now you can't really get that kind of strength bonus, like a plus 20 to strength is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, uh, they also get a couple other things. Sorry, I forgot. Whoops. Um, so they're also going to get a third level. They're going to get scent. So that's kind of nice. Uh, something very typical for an, an animal, um, you know, being able to uh, sense things by their scent and not having to rely on sight or sound or anything uh, can be quite useful um, for uh, a lot of things. And then uh, at seventh level, they get uh, rage once per day. So they just get to go into rage one more time per day. And the way it's worded, you actually can choose to do that as a frenzy instead. So um, I imagine when you pick it up, um, if you have both rage and frenzy, you have to choose which one you want to increase. Um, but yeah, uh, that's basically all they get. That They don't get anything else. It's a really, really simple prestige class. It's quite good, though, uh, that... Those bonuses to strength are absolutely insane. Um, the black bears, eh, but the brown bear and the dire bear are just amazing. So, yeah, though those are absolutely insane. Um, now, if you're doing this, you're not going to want to take too many levels of barbarian since it replaces your rage ability. So, like your uh, greater rage, like uh, where there you get higher bonuses, you're not going to get those. Those aren't going to matter. Um, the amount of times per day is important, but how good that rage is isn't all that important uh, because you're replacing it with uh, this. Now, there are some downsides. If you don't have allies and you haven't um, you know, done any sort of crazy prestige classing uh, to gain arms, uh, then you are in a bit of a pickle because basically what when you take this bear form, you're not going to be able to have your equipment, um, or at least your weapons and armor. Uh, those are going to get uh, assumed, and you're going to lose the bonuses from them, which is problematic. Um, so, yeah. Um, and because you're a bear, you no longer have hands, so you're not able to use two-handed weapons, which is what you really want to be doing if you're using, you know, uh, power attack and rage and just trying to do a high strength build. Um, so you're not going to get the full advantage of that. You're just going to have your bite and claws, which are much worse weapons. Now, there are definitely ways around that. So there are ways to, um, you know, be able to wear armor. It's going to be a little more expensive, though. Um, you're going to need to get, you know, bear armor, and then you'll probably want some for when you're not in bear form as well. Um, so there's ways to do that with, like, a ring where you can just, like, uh, store armor uh, and put it off and uh, and take it off and on. Um, there's there's ways to do that. Um, not super ideal though. 
Um, more often than not, you're just going to go without armor while you're in bear form. Uh, weapons is the bigger issue, but that's an easier one to fix. Um, if you have a caster in the party, they can cast uh, something like uh, what is it, uh, Gruleon arms, which basically make gorilla arms grow out of your back. Um, and then with that, you can, you know, use a great axe. Uh, yeah, so you can definitely do that. Um, maybe have that done before you go into bear form so that, and, you know, transfer the axe over to those arms so that when you switch into bear form, uh, it's still holding the axe. You can do some stuff like that. And with that, oh my, the, the amount of damage you can do is so busted. Um, it is absolutely nuts. Um, yeah, this if you have party members that can help you get arms, this is one of the best prestige classes for a barbarian. Actually, it probably is the best prestige class for a barbarian in the game. Um, if you have a way of getting arms. That's the real downside. Um, now, it's big uh, get of the bear form. That is a supernatural ability, so it won't work in an anti-magic field, unlike most other barbarian abilities. But hey, uh, it's, it's crazy powerful. Um, but yeah, if you are doing this build, definitely don't take too many levels of barbarian. Uh, maybe take some Frenzy Berserker if your party's cool with it, or some Eye of Grumsh, since the Eye of Grumsh... Uh, bonus that they get uh, I think it's second level um, that one will get uh, that one will stack with this since it doesn't increase since it like it's it adds on to the rage so it uh, should um, work with the bear form to give you an extra four strength so yeah uh, that's really the bear warrior there's not a whole lot to it it's a pretty pretty simple uh, prestige class but a very very good one uh, let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below if you enjoyed the video consider giving it a like subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos because uh, i'm doing uh, these on every single race class and prestige class in dnd 3.5 as well as other dnd 3.5 videos so check it out uh, ring the bell uh, to get notifications because youtube is terrible about that but anyways as always I'm Mitch, and I'll be seeing you.